Okay, so... Ooh, um, Red Letter Media apologizes to Star Wars Theory over Acolyte. What's happening here? Some, you or something. I haven't watched that. I don't know what they said. Right. Theorysabers.com Theorysabers. All right, a little while ago, a lot of you were saying that Red Letter Media guys took a jab at me and made fun of me in some video or something. I haven't watched that. I don't know what they said. Get in line. A lot of guys like to take jabs at me, and I can't be sitting around kind of watching it all. But I I have heard there's a... I was watching Drunk CPO, C3PO, and um, he was saying that this guy, uh, Star Wars Theory, he's been getting loads of hate. Uh, like loads of people have been attacking him uh, and having a go at him and uh, calling him out for things he hasn't said or done. Uh, I've, I'll have i be honest, I'll hold my hands up. I've never really uh, watched any of his content. Uh, he seems like a, a fairly straightforward guy. I know he sells third-party lightsabers and therefore I hate him. I'm joking, I don't. Um, it's just part of life, that. Um... So, but I'm surprised Red Letter Media would take a, a stab at him. The, I, I have been, I have watched Red Letter Media for quite a long time, but uh, yeah, let's let's see what he says. Anyways, a lot of you now are tagging me and saying that they apologize. So I figured, you know, in good faith, why not? I love mending bridges. I didn't know any were broken in the first place, but I'm going to go ahead and check it out. I skimmed through the whole thing, and this is about the part where they start to talk about me. So we're going to head. Well, loads of people attack him. Right, okay. Do we do we know why? The solve crazy people. Right, okay. And we're gonna react to it and check it out and have That's some enough. fun. So uh here we go. It's not the minutia of the canon. You know, like I don't know, Kayati Mundi. The the Kayati Mundi controversy. <laughs> what was that even about? I know it was about his birthday being changed, but no. that has nothing to do with the show, does well, here's, it? Here's... No, this is. Yeah, that I remember when that was uh, in uh, the acolyte. It was all over YouTube. The um, the Kayati Mundi. He was in it, and uh, like he can't be in it. He wasn't being born for like fifty years, and there's loads of people annoyed, and then uh, the. Um, Wikipedia changed the details to reflect it. Um, I just went, oh, God, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Disney just changing whatever they want because they haven't got a clue. And then they're having to backpedal and try and sort things out afterwards, so... It, the, the people who defend the show, I don't know. I, I don't know if they're smart or not in this in this sense. I'm not calling them dumb. Don't cry. But I'm thinking like it's not about a birthday. You know, it's more so about him being there and no. Is it more about um, oh, what's that word? Um, consistency, timeline. Knowing that Jedi are dying and not knowing who did it and that it's a Jedi that was once a member of the council or a member of the Jedi students and now has trained another assassin or another Jedi and is killing Jedi masters in a time of peace for that was supposed to be for a thousand years. Would, I, wa would I watch the Acolyte? <sighs> you know what? Out of all the TV series, apart from the Obi-Wan uh, TV series, out of all of them, because I've not watched any apart from the Obi-Wan, out of all of them, I would most probably watch The Acolyte just to see if it really is as bad as I've seen everyone say it is. Because uh, I've seen loads of loads of videos from drunk c3po uh, about it uh, geeks and gamers jeremy over there seen loads of things from them about it um and the things they've said make it out to be so horrifically bad that it actually makes me think you know what i wouldn't mind actually watching it literally just to find out is it really that bad because can it be that bad who knows? Who knows? The issue. The birthday thing, that was what the other side liked to make it about. You're mad about a birthday? Oh my god, you're foolish. <laughs> the birthday thing is one thing. It's not really a big deal, and no one really gives a shit about a birthday. Okay? If you had a character yeah. that they literally just changed his birthday and put him in there, nobody would care. 
but the fact that it was that character that was the issue but um don't let people fool you don't let people like detract from how important something is to you by saying oh it's about a birthday oh my god they know damn well it's not about a freaking birthday okay if they understand the star wars if they understand the actual character and the importance of it they will know it is not about a birthday but of course they'll say that to detract from the actual importance of what these multi-billion dollar companies did which was destroy it the digital yeah i'll i'll i know there's, i know there's going to be lots of people out there that like star wars and like the disney star wars that's fine if you're one of them i'm really happy for you really really am uh, but i am on the side where uh I, I think disney has absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt uh, utterly destroyed star wars uh, with the pandering, the wokeness, uh, the writing, the general horrific level of storytelling, uh, the uh, driven agenda that they have, uh, I think they have absolutely destroyed it. I think the Acolyte is a perfect example of um, a specifically somebody that, in my opinion, doesn't care about star wars and has never cared about star wars has never had any interest in star wars but has a very specific agenda that she wants to push and was given the opportunity to use a star wars ip as uh, a machine to push her agenda and did everything she could to push her specific agenda that she that she wanted that's my personal feeling on it um and I, I think a lot of other people have the same feeling. As I said, if you like Star Wars, if you like the Disney Star Wars, if you like the Acolyte, it's fine. You know, everybody has a right to like anything they want. People have the right to not like things. You know, I've got a few friends who love the Disney Star Wars. Uh, I've got most probably more friends who don't like the Disney Star Wars. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to fall out with my friends over it. You know, if they like it, great. It's... I'm, it's I honestly feel sad it's not something I can share the enjoyment in. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's it, seem, it seems to me as soon as Kathleen Kennedy got her hands on Star Wars after George Lucas, she was off on her mission to create... No, not create the wrong word. She was off on her mission to remould that IP into what she specifically wanted and to promote and push her agenda regardless of how that would impact or meld with the existing and established ip so yeah. just for why i don't know foolish writing because coyote mundi said in the phantom menace is the sith have been extinct for a millennia mm -hmm. and then in this it shows him there and they're talking oh about this. yeah there's that. and and considering the fact that finally we got to the ah, right, he gets it okay dope okay i don't know why you guys are yeah loads of people get a lot of people that was the main thing for a lot of people loads of people in the reviews and that were angry about it a vast majority is that's what they said the birthday was just something that came about later on when um Wikipedia changed it. Shit on this guy. Then. Forty years before the Phantom Menace, and this is a hundred years. Oh, okay. So they uh, Wikipedia changed his birth date, and I got everybody mad. And that, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. It, it's, it wasn't the birthday. Something you're not gonna like it, Jay. No. Oh. Uh, the, the the man uh, on the internet, Star Wars man. Okay, <laughs> the Empire is nothing compared to Tales of the Jedi. Wait, why am I, what the fuck? Why am I Star Wars man, bro? Why am I Star Wars? Why can't I be Star Wars? Would that make me the Star Wars guy? man? He knows my name. Star Wars man. Assuming my gender. Damn, bro. Star Wars man. Yep, it's you are Star Wars cool. man. It's a bird. It's a plane. <laughs> no, it's Star Wars man. Yeah, I could go with that. Maybe we change the channel name. Star Wars man merch. <laughs> <laughs> happened last year bro that's like a dope superhero star wars man. he just bitches and complains about everything and nitpicks about everything that's a dope superpower that's that's cool not even comparable revis stole the show vader was clicked
Why are they, uh, why are they showing a clip from my visions? Was it visions? Uh, Tales. Tales of the Empire. He hard. He literally sat in a throne, a little dinky throne, mind you. I don't mm -hmm. know what his name is. The man that was very upset about that. Yeah. I don't believe that. It's treason, Ben. It's a joke. I've got to say, shout out to Palpatine's lightsaber hilt. Oh, most probably one of the sexiest hilts you can get. Oh God, the nice. I uh, I I have to I have to apologize to Star Wars man. Okay. Be what the fuck, bro? Just say Star Wars theory, Star man. One. That is his thing. That is Star Wars fans love their details and canon. Full acknowledgement. One could have said. Hmm. I, I think the Star Wars fans do like the detail. Um, I, I think the problem is. Uh, as, uh, yeah, like you said, I think the problem is uh, people are very passionate about Star Wars. It's been with them a long time. And quite simply, they don't like it when somebody comes in and fucks with the establishment, the established law. Create something new, add to it. Yeah, I don't think people have an issue with that. But when you mess with existing set information that's when it seems to get people ticked off uh, well and, and at the moment it seems to tick a lot of people off the direction that they're going in but I, i'm sure there's some people out there that love it obviously the um the ratings wouldn't really show that the ratings don't even have it in the top 10 so why you gotta worry about that mike they're starving children in Africa. <laughs> and so, you know, I, yeah. I, 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 I publicly apologize to Star Wars man. I think his name is Star Wars Theory Man. Ah, he doesn't know my name. He was capping <laughs> the whole time. You knew my name, baby. Just say it. I gave everything that I had. I put my heart, my blood, my sweat, my tears to this game, and It's all good. No, it's not theory. Theory. Yeah, I, I need to. Uh, I need to start watching Star Wars Theory more. He, he seems like a really good channel, actually. Uh, he seems like a pretty cool guy. Uh, you watch his content all the time, right? Okay, fair enough. Do you watch Red Light Media though? You do, <laughs> right? Okay. Sabers. Oh, you fucking dude! You shout out the freaking Sabers, baby! Ah, oh, this guy's getting the like. He's getting a sub. Hell yeah! <laughs> Theorysabers.com. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, I appreciate that. His, it's, I don't know. He's mad about Star Wars. <laughs> they're all mad about Star Wars. Yeah, I know. They're, they're the mass-produced Chinese yeah. ones. NBC's mad about Star Wars. <laughs> I know. It's, it's very good. That'd be a great show. show. It's very fun. People want them. Show. With Paul, people want uh, them. People want them. Don't spend a lot of money. They're awful. They kill people. Yeah. <laughs> they steal children. He's in a good position to do it. Lesbian space witches. To me, that's... Lesbian space witches. Yo, I'm a fan. I've heard that a lot about the acolyte. What's this guy's name? Wicked! Like when they're flying a, like a, you know, a shuttlecraft around. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Wicked! Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this from? Is this real? Damn, Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek fans. fans. Is this what they did? Look at what they did. Is that real? That's not real. I watched that. I watched the Star Trek thing, Strange New Worlds. That, that, that never happened in there. Did it? Did I miss something? It's just a promo. Oh, okay. Right. Fair enough. So it wasn't in the thing. No, right, okay. It to my boy. No, it just sounds like Voldemort. <laughs> Harry Potter. Uh, hopefully they didn't ruin Harry Potter. I'll do the one thing that no one on the internet has ever done. Admit I was wrong and apologize okay. uh, because I just don't care. And, I think that's uh, I, the big thing for me is everyone needs to accept the fact that all your fra favorite franchises have been in flames for just years dying. now. Dying, yeah. Like when I look yeah. at this, I'm not comparing. Yeah. yeah, at least we could. Yeah, the the the, the big franchises are just dying. Well, we, we established earlier on uh, it was the, the MCU is the biggest franchise in history, followed by Star Star Wars, uh, then most probably Lord of the Rings. Um, and when we when we established that, I, I to be clear, I I enjoy the MCU uh, MCU movies. I'm not that bothered about the TV shows, but the uh, the films were really good. And when we got to Endgame. That was it. That was that was the that was the moment. I watched Endgame. I loved Endgame. 
I've watched it once since then. Um, not because I don't like it, but because it's such a great film. I only watch them every now and then, so I don't get bored of them. Uh, but since that, uh, I'm, I'm done with the MCU. I'm, I've lost all interest. Uh, you know, Endgame was the last one, and it li really was the last one for me. I think that's the same for everybody else. I think people just burned out on MCU, um, that kind of genre altogether. And I think uh, I think they needed to just leave it for five, ten years before doing something else. But they they went at it even harder. They put out even more content. It's crazy. You can all kind of agree on that. It's all being destroyed by multi-billion dollar destroyed. corporations that don't understand or respect it. Just yeah, absolutely. The, it's, these are huge multi-billion corporations. Uh, they have no idea what they got. They don't understand what it is. They're just taking it and trying to do what they think is right. And they're just messing it up. There was a, a brilliant... Um, I caught something somewhere about it. And they're saying that the people that develop and write these things are so out of touch, they're now having to go to classes to get re-in-touch uh, re with the common person and what they like and that. Because in their, their bubble is so out of the loop that they just have no idea possibly it's true i don't know it for the greed like thanos adding more companies more ips to the gauntlet mm. yeah <laughs> star wars is always i don't think space. warner brothers would ever sell harry potter to uh disney space fantasy it's a little loosey goosey a little more loose yeah. right and and yeah. and really to me it's like i look back at the the whole season and say what i get out of this mm -hmm. what, what was i what what did what did the show want me to be invested in what did they <laughs> want me to get out of it was it the relationship <laughs> don't ask that for the acolyte let me tell you that Neil. who's that This planet is having problems. There's a monster uh, coming in and taking their crops. Uh, and then there's an alien oh, okay. spaceship that comes down. And I haven't seen the like Mando, mindset. was it season one, episode five? Six. Right. Uh, anyway, any, I'm anyway. watching this whole thing. I can, I can see why they're popular. I'd watch more of this after this. But hey, all good, man. Uh, <laughs> you know, the internet's an interesting place. Uh, I'm sure a lot yep. of us in person who like hate each other online meet in person and we'd actually get along famously but at the end of the day <laughs> a lot of it's just an act a lot of it's just you know rustling feathers rustling jimmies and um that's kind of where it ends but sometimes you know um i i love the fact that you did this so mad respect mad props to red letter media for uh doing that saying that that's cool man that's nice of you you could have just continued to you know make fun or dog or whatever like yeah. um a lot of people well the, the guys are really mean i i think uh i know one of called jay I can't remember what the one's called, uh, but the, I, I think they seem to be really nice guys. Um, the Star Wars Theory guy, he seems his channel seems pretty good. I may have to actually check his channel out a bit more. Uh, I wouldn't mind watching some uh, build videos, uh, checking them out, um, seeing what people do and things, you know. So uh, might go have a look for one of those now. But yeah, uh, it was a bit more. The title was a bit more catchy than I thought it was going to be, but. <laughs> Uh, mm, yeah, fair enough. I mean, I got to be see a bit of Red Lab Media, a bit of Star Wars Theory. Like I said, I think he gets a lot of hassle and a lot of, uh, a lot of crap. Uh, but he seems to be a fairly straight guy. So, yeah, on to the next one, eh? <laughs>